Shooting is the long range attack in Hyper Light Drifter. The mechanic is similar to how shooting operates in games like Enter the Gungeon or as well as other top down shooting games. The shooting can be used to dispatch enemies as well as destroy obstacles. Both of these things can be done from both a short and a long distance. Players can also use shooting to shoot out of reach triggers or switches to open doors or unblock obstacles, like crystals. Shooting adds both combat and environmental options to the game. The player has 360 controlled aiming with the ability to shoot in any direction on the X and Y axis. The size metric used for this game is measured in 14 by 14 pixel squares shown here. Depending on the shooting weapon used, the bullet range is different for each gun. The base gun can shoot completely across the screen until it hits an obstacle or enemy or even a wall. Another gun, like the shotgun, has a 3x3 14x14 pixel square range. Show you here. Shooting in the game is weaker than close range melee attack. You can see if I hit this crystal, it does a lot more damage. Whereas if I shoot the crystal, it does less damage. Each weapon has its own unique way of shooting. While aiming, a reticle determines the direction in which the player can shoot. However, while using a controller, the reticle cannot go more than the 4x4 of the 14 by 14 distance with the pixels. So the player must use some skill to aim at the enemies and in a fast paced game like this, it's a little hard to do that. Shooting is limited in the game by how much ammo the player currently holds. The player runs out of the ammo, the player can't shoot anymore. But once depleted, they can hit things like obstacles, like the crystals or boxes in the, found in the game or even enemies to restore the ammo. The more bullets the player has though, the more bullet shooting they can do. They can actually upgrade ammo in the town while using the collectibles they find in the level. So would you say the base gun deals on average about roughly takes two to three hits to kill an enemy or an obstacle, while the shotgun does large damage over a wild, wide range, for example. Shooting has a default firing rate of about one shot per two seconds. Second, why well, increase the range here? So, there are some restrictions. The player cannot run and shoot. Every time they're running and you press the shoot button, it stops them from running and actually disables the movement. The only thing they can do while in this position is dash, but while holding the button, it puts them right back into the aim state. Thank you for watching.